You can remember that they're changing my voice. There's some aspects of them targeting me that are harder to believe. And I want to tell people some of the details, but it's not strategic and logical um, to tell them, okay? But some of it has to do with the exact way that they drug things, right? You know that they're fuming me because of the witnesses. You know that they're drugging some of the things in the store. But they do funny things in regards to telling me which stores to go to and not to go to, which I don't consider them magically ruling magically over me, right? They don't do that. I say it that way so they don't take me out of context. Okay, and because they do it that way, again, there's witnesses to them harassing me, and you know they're trying to tell me what to do, so you should be able to believe that. It's true. Okay. Uh, it created a certain situation where I found myself in the parking lot in San Jose, and I, I was very angry for a good reason, and I knew that I was telling the truth. I know that when I talk to God, I, I don't pray much, very much anymore because they interfere with the process and they mock me and they insult God during the process. But that time I knew that it was time to say it that way. I was looking at the sky at some points and I said, you know, that God knows my heart and so on and so forth. And I'm sure if you've been watching my videos for any distinct amount of time, you know that I'm a very righteous person and I care about people and I have to do God's work. So there's a part, there's several parts in the Bible that tell us that, you know, I can, I can have the option to um, reverse a certain decision depending on the behavior of the people, but I cannot reverse the decision that after my flesh dies that people are sealed out of heaven. I don't think people truly understand why that is because of the generational injustice. You know, these people in a calculated manner try to replace you know, the righteous to the best of their ability. And as a result, I'm not going to have any children. I'm not going to have any children that I raised myself. Um, you know, you know, I'm not going to have a pregnant woman, obviously, and have any children because I'm not, you know, I'm not LGBT. I'm a straight guy. I'm not some kind of, you know. Anyway, so they created the situation where they left me no choice. When I see kids at the store, some kids are very friendly. Sometimes they wave at me, you know, what have you. You know, I'm not very happy that they brought it to this point, but that's what's fair. And as I look at this, I say, you know, if they try with all their heart, I can reduce their eternal punishment if they don't obey God through me in time. Okay, but that's the best I can do. They have to be blocked out of heaven because of the exact circumstances in which they all came about. And that includes people in my family to some degree. It includes people who are from my country, people who I grew up with, you name it. Okay. I'm not happy that they did this, but that is the fair verdict there. But in regards to cutting Santa Clara County off early, okay, I'm tempted to reverse that decision right now, okay? But I cannot do that because I got to think about it thoroughly, okay? They are more guilty than most counties in, in America, in the world, if not all of them, because I was here reaching out to them. I'm here with the bumper stickers. They hear me at the parks. They hear me in the parking lot. And they turned, uh, they hardened their hearts. And to some degree, the government probably used technology to harden their hearts too. I see the signs of the technology is being used on them and drugs and what have you. But I have to consider what's fair here. A significant amount of people were rallying to me. I'd have a moral committee established. In fact, even if a small amount of people rallied to me, I'll have some kind of committee to help me review the details of things, to overkill the just nature of my verdicts, to overkill the fairness of it. Okay. And it reminds me of, you know, a situation in the Bible in Genesis 18, when God is talking to Abraham about Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham's kind of negotiating. He says, well, if, what if there's, he gets, he works his way to 10 people, works his way down to 10 people and says, what if there's only 10 people? And God says, you know, for the sake of 10 I won't destroy the city, but of course he eventually destroys Sodom anyway. So as we look at this thing and we ask ourselves, you know, how serious is sexual morality? Be it LGBT, be it straight sexual morality, erotic desire. I mean, nobody is doing the right thing these days in regards to sexual behavior. No offense to anybody. That includes married people who have never cheated on their wives. It's a long story why that is. You know, I say a lot of things people don't want to hear. Okay. You know, things that I say 
will heal you if you do the right thing. God is offering you the free gift of eternal life before time is too late within the boundaries of righteousness and justice. And every person, straight, gay, black, white, you name it, every person but me has a lot of changing to do to become right with God. And God made me blameless in order to save people. Okay? No offense to anybody, but you've got to understand that this is serious. Okay? And almost certainly, I will relent, you know, because life is short anyway for nothing else, for Santa Clara County. But it doesn't look good for them because Christ in person, where they could hear me in person, called down curses on them in their county. And bitter and some of those people who heard that in person will never hear whether I changed my mind or not and that's very sad some of them might tell their friends and what have you very unfortunate okay this situation is as serious as it gets all loss and victory all victory and loss are in principle if you don't rally and obey God you're gonna go to hell and you know if you decide to go to hell and you keep persecuting me it's going to increase the punishment and because i've been in, in santa clara county so long they owe god more than most counties and most places to scramble to do the right thing and everyone on this planet it's like they don't want to be singled out or, or chosen as a group to kind of have that extra burden but this was destiny and this is also what the government did right you know at one point i, I used to live somewhere else right and I started off living in San Jose when I was real young. I think we might have had one place before that. Then we moved um, to Saratoga. And then we moved here to unincorporated Morgan Hill. That was destiny. And there's some people who pretend like they're controlling destiny. But I wouldn't even be alive right now if it wasn't for God Almighty. God Almighty is the true controller of life and death. Everyone else is just playing games to their discre extreme discre disgrace. They did not make the heavens and the earth. No offense to anybody. But these are the facts. Okay? If you do what is right and it is just to forgive you, then you in that situation that occurs. But here we see with Santa Clara County, I have to really ask myself, is it fair? And times like this, if I had a beautiful wife to talk to, if I had a committee to discuss this with, it wouldn't hurt. Okay. But when you consider that, it's also a fair judgment if I had to make the judgment by myself. And I, and I decide to play it safe and, and damn them early. Or I decide to play it safe in a different sense and to wherever I decide is fair because it's destiny and I'm the top martial arts ever possible. God chose me for this job. Okay. I know what move to make and when to make it. And God has guided me with his infinite wisdom to the most important position in human history at the most important time, the final ceiling, right? Christ coming back in his glory, the anointed one. Okay. And here I am with the army. The kingdom of heaven is upon you. And many of you are making the horrible mistake of, of persecuting me directly. Many of you are making the horrible mistake of, of rejecting the truth from God. This is a very serious time. You know, if you didn't know what um, a gun was and someone pointed at you, you say, what are you going to do with that little piece of metal? I got a big old spear or sword or club. You see what I'm saying? They don't realize that God's entire wrath is pointed at them. And they have the nerve to say, well, we fear the oppressor instead and the adversary. Satan means adversary instead. People who do not want people to do God's plan. So please understand the seriousness of this situation. I'm not bluffing. I'm not lying. I am actually who I say I am. I'm actually the son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon who came here penniless and worked his way up. Okay, in the late 60s during the Nigerian Civil War. I'm actually the legal, I'm actually, excuse me, I'm actually the top martial arts ever possible. My legal and peaceful challenge proves it that that's the case. And I'm actually someone who's connected the dots and proven definitively that I am Jesus Christ. I am the son of God. I am the top martial arts ever possible. This is not a game or a ruse. The, these are the true words that God would have you hear. Okay. And even though they're, they're hacking my brain and fuming me, one plus one plus one is still three. Okay. I still live in Morgan Hill, California. I'm still a 6'4 black guy, okay? I still have a blue hooded sweater on right now. I still drive a black car, okay? I still am who I am. Like God said to Moses, say, you go tell him I am who I am. I am who I am. And if you don't take me seriously, why the hell not? 
Why the hell not? I'm telling you the truth. And the way is the truth and a morally precise uh, life which involves obeying God through me. Okay, and that is obeying morality. Like it says in Samuel, listen to what the people are telling you. It's not just me that they have rejected as, as king. They've rejected God as king because God set me apart to convey intense moral precision and intensity from God to whoever would obey God and receive uh, the way, the truth, and the life that would receive uh, the free gift of God, that would receive the ability to walk the straight and narrow through the gates, through my heart, into the kingdom of heaven. The solar boat, right, in the, in the Lord's hand, the king's heart is a stream of water that he channels to those who please him. And I draw on the pure and righteous spirit of God, and I fear no man. I'm not fearing any hardship or difficulty. I'm going to do God's will with every breath that I take. And sometimes I might get angry, but even when I'm, I'm cussing people out, you know, when no one's looking, you know, kind of, you know, when I'm talking aloud to myself, okay, what I'm doing is conveying righteous indignation from God in my own language. And I grew up in California. I speak a certain way. I think a certain way. This is what morality looks like at the highest level when it's coming from God through the top martial arts ever possible. That's the situation.